Pratic Alliance may have a new interim leader by this evening. For more, let us now cross live to Manoba Kunu, who is at the, at the scene. Manoba? Well, certainly, Mahendra, breaking news here. Uh, we have now confirmed that, uh, of course, uh, uh, the DA parliamentary leader, John Steen Hazen, has been elected the interim leader of uh, the Democratic Alliance. And uh, uh, Ivan Mayer, who is uh, the MEC for Agriculture in the Western Cape, has also been elected as the FedEx chair. And, uh, of course, just to get uh, more on this and to speak more about this, I'm now joined by the acting political editor at the SABC, Mzondi Lembeche. Mzondi Lembeche, any surprises there on this uh, election? Certainly not. Uh, but what is more interesting is the next four months. Uh, remember, this is the interim arrangement. Uh, what will be happening uh, between now and April will be very crucial. I think it was by and large really expected that uh, uh, Stine Hazen was going to be elected the leader and perhaps even mayor was going to be uh, elected the federal chairperson. That's why I'm saying uh, with this uh, chapter now, there's a new one that is developing. So there is the next four months of campaigning. Because remember, a number of other candidates decided not to throw their heads into the ring, saying, so they want to look at the situation and assess and then go for the uh, April uh, Congress. It's going to be very interesting, uh, Mangoba, particularly uh, because there's also a policy conference, I think, in February um, that will happen, and it will give you a direction. So you can already see the two strands within the DA, those who would uh, perhaps regard themselves as liberals and perhaps those who would see themselves as progressive. So this battle is far from over. What does uh, the election of John Stian Hazen uh, as the interim leader mean for the direction that the party is taking itself? Well, in the interim, uh, it would basically give a bit of stability, in the d especially because Musi has just uh, uh, departed as their leader. So it would give a bit of stability. But in terms of the bigger picture uh, and in terms of the kind of perception that it's sending out to the ordinary populace is quite interesting. Remember, people have been saying, even jokingly, saying uh, the owners of the DA are reclaiming it. Now you see two um, uh, white people taking over this party and uh, obviously you can imagine. And of course uh, some of uh, them saying that you know uh, with Mahashula Ghana going into this race of course it was expected not is not going to win this but of course this was a test for the Congress that's taking place uh, next year. Oh yes um, that's why I mean in, in, as I started speaking to you I said um, what is crucial now is what is going to happen from now until April because they have seen how the balance of force are, but the most important thing is that Congress is not only constituted by about 150 people that have gathered here. Congress is a much bigger conference. So you and I know that in terms of the provinces, uh, Musi, before he left the DA, kind of like had uh, the grasp uh, or rather had the hold of the provinces. I think he had, been, he had managed to build that kind of support base. So it's possible that that support could translate into the next leader that they are also going to be looking at. Uh, it may not necessarily be the same results that you are seeing today. So Stian Hazen, we, who we assume would probably uh, develop um, more feelings for the position, for the permanent position, is likely to contest. But I think the challenge would be a bit more fierce that, that time around. Okay, it's only that for now. Thank you very much. As well as our acting political editor, Zondi Lembeche, speaking to us there. Of course, those breaking news. John Stian Hazen being elected the interim leader of the DA ahead of uh, its early uh, Federal Congress next year, as well as Ivan Mayer being elected as a FedEx chair. Well, thank you very much indeed. M my colleague, Mangoba Mkunu, who is also speaking to our other colleague, um, Zwandi Lembeje.